it normally find me out of the country. So I have never gotten a chance to be in this dinner. Therefore, today, I feel so much privileged <laughs> to be here and also to be introduced to all of you. Because um, you know Dr. Sarah so much, but the man who pays the bills <laughs> is not known. <laughs> so I'm the poor man who is paying the bills for her. And I qualify that. I do qualify that. Around 32 years ago, she went to studio. And she had no coin to pay the studio, Transworld Radio, to produce her first CD, Mwadhaniwa Kwane Ebeneza. The cost of that was 3,200. She could not afford to get the 3,200. And uh, she came and borrowed me 3,200 to pay the studio. And I was promised that the, the, that money would be refunded. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the refund of 3,200. Up to now, I've never gotten the refund of the 3,200. So I qualify the statement, I'm the poor man paying the, bi the bills. I want to thank God for the you know, small beginnings. Those small beginnings then, when they started, when there were three of them, then they started the music. They used to call themselves a Beneza Trio, and they came up to that CD, the Beneza Trio. And it was a hit. Um, I can see my college mate, um, Pastor. She used to come to college then, and she would sing that song. And everybody at that time, the upcoming pastors, would, were amazed by these three young girls by the voice and the ministry they had for the music. But that small beginning has made it today that we have this ministry. The resilience she had, sometimes we would have nothing. She has the songs, but we cannot be able to go to studio. And, but she had the resilience of uh, going on and going on. So I want to thank God for that kind of resilience that has brought her up to this level. And we are trusting God for even more and more. So, us this evening is to thank God and to know that God is still in control and the desires of our hearts will be met. Amen? Amen. So, I wish you well as we continue in this ministry. Even if you don't see me, I'm always at the, the whatever, the backyard, yeah? Um, the background. Somebody who pushed things from behind. And uh, we are together in this ministry. I pray for it, and I know that God is going to bless us. Amen? Uh, when you come to my church, I'm fired, but when I'm here, I'm a bit shy. Should I now call, invite Dr. Sarah to come and say a word? Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. This far, our Lord is Ebenezer. Amen. Seven years down the line and we are standing because of his grace. We are now after this going to begin the eighth year of this ministry. Something that was not there, but it is here because of the grace of God. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. This God is big, oh. This God is good, oh. When I look and I remember what the Lord has done, I can only, I will never go back. I will continue praising him. Hallelujah. Amen. When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back. Ah! Uh -huh. 
will never go by anymore. Help me say, when I
us, we thank God for the seven years that he has been with us. Look at your life and tell him, Lord, I thank you. I thank you and I will never go back. I will continually praise you. I will continually worship you. I will continually lift your name for what you have done and what you will continue doing. It is not our effort. It is not about our strength. And it has been all him that he be glorified. It is all about him. It is all about him. It is about his favor, his favor. It is about his grace. It is about his blessings that has made us to reach where we are tonight. And we know we are going far and further by his grace, by his power. We bless the Lord.
for the Lord to be on our side. We don't know where we could be tonight. It is about him. It is about him. He's a faithful God. He's a true God. We know where we have come from. We know where we are. We might not know where we are going. But because he's faithful, we are going somewhere. Because he's ever faithful. And he's a true God. There are fears all the time. There are challenges all the time. There are times we feel tired. But let me tell you, every time we encourage ourselves and everyone that is here knows, even in other ministries, it is just encouraging yourself in the Lord and saying, it is going to be well. It's going to be well. It's going to be well. It's going to be well. It is going to be well when we look up to Jesus. It is going to be well when we trust in the Lord. It is going to be well. Even when I feel tired, Nali. Ata wakati vitu vina kama haziendi mbele, Nali.
Yesterday I had a whole busy day in Rongai. I was preaching almost four or five hours in Rongai, Ongata Rongai. This morning when I put on that song, it sang like almost one hour. I realized there was new strength in my life. That is a revelation. That is a great song. That's a great song. Lord, we give you thanks for seven years. Lord, we give you thanks for seven years. Joseph saw seven years, then he saw seven years. Seven, Lord, is a number of perfection in your word. Lord, you have perfected work in this ministry. In this ministry. You have perfected this work. And that's why we are praying for every participant. Everybody who has put their hand, their mind, their prayers. For the success of this ministry. May they be rewarded. May they be rewarded. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. If, if I'm given only around five minutes I'll be through with what I want to share just remain sit standing but if you have a seat you can sit just want to have a few minutes we have done one thing thank you so much Dr. Sarah you have done one thing we have done thanksgiving for seven years but this ministry is starting the eighth year I want just to read a scripture in the book of Genesis chapter 8 chapter 8 and verse 18 two three verses Noah went out along with his sons his wife and his sons wives those are eight people he came out of the ark eight people number eight the Bible says Noah built an, an altar to the Lord. He then took to every kind of clean animals and birds and offered them an offering on the altar. And the Lord smelled the soothing aroma. And the Lord smelled the soothing aroma. And he said in himself, I will never again cast the ground because of man. Even though his inclination of his mind is evil from childhood. I will never again destroy everything that lives as I have done. While the earth continues to exist or to remains, 
Seed time and harvest time shall never cease. Cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night will never cease. When the eight people came out of the ark, the first thing they had was a sacrifice. When our brother was talking here, the first thing that he put forward was sacrifice. And when God smelled the aroma, the honor, the thanksgiving, the what we had done, the Bible says, he said in his heart, these seasons we have, day and night, the planting and harvesting, cold and heat, summer and winter, days, and there were not a prayer of somebody. It was when God smelled the aroma. Wakati mungu alinusa manukato, your sacrifice, he began to say in his heart. I want to pray that this eight that is beginning, God will begin to say in his heart about this ministry. Pooh. May God begin to say some things. We just heard from our sister and from our brother three things. And then the foundation. But I'm sensing in my spirit there could still be more. God will say in his heart. He says when he has smelled the aroma of thanksgiving, the aroma of sacrifice, he says he smelled it. May the Lord smell our aroma tonight. Our sacrifice of praise, of worship. The scripture in the book of, 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 of Psalm 22 verse 3 that we read that God dwells in the praises of his people. That is the mind of a Kenyan. My mind as somebody who is born in Kenya, an African. But if it was a Hebrew, he doesn't understand it. That scripture means God sits in his temple waiting for people who will bring praise to him. He's seated. He's always waiting for people who bring praise to him. And when they bring praise to him and he receives it, he begins to say in his heart, I'll do something here. I will do something here. So the eight people came out of the ark. The first thing they did, God said, they said, okay. God told them now you can go east and west and all over. Because that is another beginning. Because Adam has failed. Now we are beginning another rest with Noah. The first thing was a sacrifice. The first thing was a sacrifice. And God smelled the aroma. <laughs> and he said, May God have a voice over your aroma, over your sacrifice. May he begin to speak. And when God speaks, he speaks well. Psalm 8 is a number of new beginning. David was number 8 in his family. When they found out that there was no king among the seven, he says, is there another one? May this year be your another one. This year that you are beginning, let it be another one. Another one. They said, yes, there is a one, but does not really, that, it doesn't matter. They said, bring him, we shall not sit down. I speak in the name of Jesus that heaven and the angelic being shall never rest until this year arrives in this ministry. We will not sit down. The man stood with the oil in his hand. Samuel stood with this oil in his hand until the boy arrived and he poured the oil. He knew very well the deliverance of Israel is here. Number eight. Number eight is a day of new beginning. When God made heaven and earth and everything, he rested on the seventh day. On the following day, he began again. Another order. May the Lord bring another order. A dimension that we have never seen in this ministry. Started now when God began to divide small jobs of man and everything. And they began to walk with God in the garden. 
that is after he made man. Then from there he starts and then the wife, the, the wife comes and now it's a new order, another level. Because the first one, Adam was standing alone, but in the second, when he begins after the rest, we we'll see another thing altogether. May it begin in this ministry. I'm praying, may it begin in this ministry. And even your individual ministry, may something begin. May something begin. I said, may something begin. Eight is a number of the greatness of God. The Bible says they were gathered in the, in the upper room. And the spirit of the Lord came in like a mighty wind and filled the place where they were. The Pentecost. Pentecost comes after seven weeks of seven days, which is 49. When you put on one, it becomes 50. It means Holy Ghost pouring. I pray that this ministry, when we come together to worship, may there be an outpouring in this eighth, in this new beginning. In this beginning here, there might be the power of the Holy Spirit. And the church was born in an upper room on the 50th, which is a new beginning. When Jesus rose from the dead, like a lamb that was picked out of other lambs, he was inspected for four days. And when they finished expecting the lamb, they had to slaughter the lamb. And they killed the lamb. And the Bible says, after that, he rose again the third day. When you put the day of inspection and the day of taking to the priest to see it, it's kept for four days. One day is taken before the priest to inspect. From there, it's going to be sacrificed, put in a grave. On the eighth day is the first day of the week. Jesus rose from the dead. Anything that has died, anything that has been put under the grave with a stone on it and they are put a seal that it will never rise, this year it is arising. Your ministries are rising. Finances are arising. Your people are arising. May there be a new day. The new beginning is a fresh beginning. Let it work for you and anybody connected to this ministry. May the grace begin to work for you. May this grace begin to work for you. Even in your job, those who have sacrificed, may that grace, that grace, that grace begin to infiltrate your family. Dimensions of the spirit you have never understood. You are rising up again. Never to go from that place again. Oh, he came out, he came out, he came out. Doesn't matter how low you are, you are coming out. I said we are coming out. I said we are coming out. This ministry is rising up. I speak in the name of Jesus. That the sweet aroma that is being released here, God will speak a word. God will release a prophetic word. May you start to go in a prophetic dimension. Just like a brother said, Elisha is called by the two prophets. One prophet from Judah in the book of 2 Kings chapter 3. He says, is there a musician in this area? Is there a musician? Because Elisha comes from the valley of praise called Abel Mahola. A valley of praise from Elijah's anointing. It cannot be transferred to the next generation until we get an Elisha from the valley of Abel Mahola. A valley of praise. That is the connecting factor between the anointing that wanted to kill Elijah and the son of the prophet who will anoint Jehu to kill Jezebel. In between there we meet an Elisha, a man from the valley of worship, a valley of praise. May this ministry release a revival that shall destroy those that kill revival. They kill the prophetic ministry. They kill the apostolic ministry. May there be an unction and an anointing of Elisha, a man from the valley of Abel Mahola, that can prophesy when the music is being played to raise up a generation that shall kill Jezebel. Ka 
Ada bada bakata boshi. Leketa. Lamba shuda. In the name of Jesus. As we begin this new year. We are beginning a new beginning. It's a new order. But higher than that which was. It is on another dimension. It is on another higher level. May it begin in the name of Jesus. May those buildings for the children. For the vulnerable. For those that are invalids. To get a place of joy again. Oh Shada Bayanda. Twali. Gina la Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Gina la the earth remains so long as the earth remains day and night shall never cease if you have been in the night your day has arrived <laughs> so long as the earth remains so long as the earth remains with this aroma if you have been in the night your day has arrived So long as the earth remains, anybody who has sown a seed, a prayer, a concern, a wish on this ministry, may you begin to harvest right now. <laughs> so long as the earth remains, and I am sure we are standing on it right now. It is still here right now. We are in Nairobi, which is in Kenya, which is in Africa, which is in, 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 the, in, in the on earth. It's still around. Your season is now changing. Your planting has now, has now reached a place. You begin to harvest. Put your hand on it. May you harvest something. So long as the earth remains. If you have been cold, God is going to warm you up. If it has been winter, may the Lord have you summer. So long as the earth remains, God said in his heart, may God begin to say things after this. After this. After this. Eight is a new beginning. It's a new order. It's a fresh beginning. It is a newness of things. May the Lord refresh you. I said may the Lord refresh you. Replenish your energy. After much spiritual warfare. May he refresh you. As you move like Elisha. In that anointing. And the Bible says when the young man played the instrument. The anointing came. And said God is going to open tell people to go and dig drenches in the wilderness. It is dry. Animals don't have food. But people begin to dig to make the way because rain is coming. I mean water is coming and there's no rain. It's dry. People don't have what to eat. But as music went on, the word of the Lord says take the seni mandaki in the desert namfua inyesh. May it begin in your life. There is no sign, but we release on this mountain this anointing of a man from the pray, valley of praise, Abel Mahola. Then people are looking around. Vua ina toka wapi? Maji ita toka wapi? Anasema chimbeni tu mali maji itakuwa. Itanza kuingia. It wasn't long. Revival had come. Revival had come. Revival had come. Sing it in Alita. 
as you bring in your people here. Leaders, all you are leaders. Kono yetu tumwambie tumeliita jina lako Tunaita hilo jina Nali Hey Shiba dada magidi ni busha A new beginning A new beginning A number 9 number 8 a number of new beginning a number of vision a number of understanding a number of david that rises up to kill Goliath, the killer, the terror of Israel. such an anointing. It's built on such a rock. It's built on such power. Lekada. Lakando. Father, the transition that brought it seven years ago. The transition that brought it there has brought them up to here. May we release, may we receive another transition that will take them the years to come. Hey! May there be a transition. Shalama. 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 Tajina lako. Ambini. Lebo shanda ya labori anda laba. Mande lebo sheke tara la 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 la
name of Jesus. A new day. A new day. A new day. A new day. Everybody pray, pray. Let's lift these people. My God, my God. A new beginning. A new dimension of understanding. The spirit of easiness. The Lord will help you easily. Will take care of you. for you everywhere. Father, in the name of Jesus, all of us connected to this ministry, may the same anointing of another dimension, a new beginning of a David anointing that ushers in a new order of heaven begin to work in our lives. Finances, ability to do things, revelation, let it happen. Let it happen. Please, Vika, come here. The bishops, come here. That's a big sacrifice. This man, this man has done stand with your wife here. That is a big sacrifice. Bishops surround them. It's not easy. Let me tell you the most attacked ministry. It's a ministry of praise. It's a ministry of worship. 
because it gives God what he cannot give to himself. Worship is the only thing you can, God cannot give himself. He can't worship himself. And never any ministry that gives him that, the enemy gets annoyed with it. But all the bishops who are here, put your hand on this. Come here. Father, we surround this ministry. Our brother who has covered this ministry because of being a priest in this house. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I know they have not told us everything. This brother has not told us everything. He has passed through things to maintain as a midwife to this ministry, to bring forth this ministry. This is a big heart. He has released the wife to go to the nations to serve you. This is a midwife, serious ministry. Father, I pray. Where's the daughter? Where's the daughter? Run here. Where's she? To China Yao Ikuapi. Kujapa. Sha da 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 da. Represent the others who are not here. Ka ta 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 this vision remains forever. This vision remains forever. Let it have a generational impact. Generational impact. The children who will, re, who will be born in this family and the children's children will reap from this sacrifice. From generation to generation to generation to generation to generation newness that's like Noah from Noah God has never killed everybody so shall it be he opened a way and caused God never to be annoyed with man to kill man animals and everything because of a sacrifice they are sacrifice for us to get this ministry all over the world and it open things that are generational forever 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 in Jesus name the Lord praise. Let's give the Lord praise. Let's give the Lord praise. Baba, thank you. I've been looking forward to seeing you. You have a big heart. This gift has blessed us. You have blessed us. God bless you. You are a strong man. You are a strong man. Sarah, I thank God that you transited. You are not the CD material. You are the one to take people in the presence of the mighty God. A David, a Jehoshaphat, a Caleb, that's the anointing. The Lord bless you. Give you strength and good health. Forever. Mishana. Na wale wote wataka ufata kwa hii jamii. Hii mafuta itawanyunyisia. 
hii mafuta itawasaidia mafuta itawaimarisha itawashika kama ndoano watatembea na Yesu watahubiri njili wataimba mapepo yatatoroka in Jesus name amen sivyo They didn't tell me to do what I'm going to do but I'm, that foundation is the thing I'm liking. I want to release a seed in that foundation. Chukua kipeti chako. When the smell of the sacrifice. Smell of the sacrifice. Hata kama ni shilingi moja, don't worry. We are releasing a sacrifice. releasing us Father in the name of Jesus whoever gives to the orphans and to the widows you become a debtor to him or her that foundation is beckoning on you you are supposed to take care of this widows you take care of the vulnerable and everybody and this sir foundation wants to do it for for you oh god we are laying our lives on it together tonight as a gesture of connection we pray my father that in this year that is beginning we will see the fruition with acceleration in it in the name of Jesus we pray amen let up just put it down if you have it just bring it whatever you have it's not it's not an obligation if you don't have don't feel bad because we didn't tell you Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Um the spirit of God is reading me to sponsor this ministry the foundation they intend to put as children home. But I want to pray God by next year that you be coming here for celebration we shall have I pray God to give me to donate one acre of land for the building of that center. I don't know where it is coming from, but I trust God. As we come next year, I sh- we shall give a testimony that the Lord has given an acre. Not less than an acre. He can give and more, but not less than an acre. Amen. And uh, I trust God that he is going to enable me to plant a seed of that ministry with at least a acre of land amen thank you jesus is already there god will speak once a sacrifice has the aroma in his nostril you'll be surprised god will speak to our hearts sarah god will speak to our hearts till number is there Till number is there. Just write it down as you go back home. Just write it down. God is going to speak something and he will hand it over to your hands to bring in. This is a worthy cause for the ministry. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate for being part of this work. Just being part of it. I really long. I watch every Tuesday. I'm in Western Indiviga, but I'm always in the service with them. Just to see how they are going on. Amen. And amen. May the Lord bless you, Sarah. It's a joy to be here. God bless you all. Thank you so much, Bishop. And we love you so much. And thank you for coming.
and taking your time. You have you had a very busy schedule at Rongai, but you sacrificed, and we bless the Lord for that. Amen. Can we praise the Lord for that? As we finish with this song that, that our Papa Bishop loves, Yesu, I would want to welcome MC to come and take us to the next level. Salama, salam, salama. Wapi sangu evi gele gele kwa Asante. Thank you so much, Dr.